Hello, everybody. This is Dan Walker with RichmondSpiders.com. I'm sitting down with Ellie Ronan here from Spider Swim and Dive. First off, Ellie, how are you doing? Um, I'm doing well. I'm back home in Marblehead, Massachusetts, which is north of Boston. Uh, my whole family's back home, so we're all kind of getting used to the quarantine and getting used to online classes and like trying to work training into everything. Um, but for the most part, I'm doing good. Everyone in my family is healthy. So, you know, we're just trying to not kill each other by living home <laughs> under the same roof. But other than that, everything's going well. Good, good. And then we just want to kind of go over how your experience was with everything. Like we were getting ready for the NIC back up in Ohio. And then uh, Matt ultimately made the call on that Tuesday to <laughs> cancel that trip before that Thursday when the NCAA canceled the NCAA meet, March Madness, the spring seasons, just can you kind of give a, a thought on how you guys, how that process went for you? Yeah, so our team was fortunate enough to finish our conference championship meet. So we got to compete in A-10s, which is like a whole team event. So we all got to go and compete in that. And then there were a handful of us that qualified for the postseason, which extended our season like three extra weeks. So we were all looking forward to going to the NI, the NI team meet and just, or the NIC meet and just, you know, competing against some like really big teams and like getting that exposure and like trying to race again and go after the times that we had just um, did in A10. So I think it was really disappointing that the night before we were supposed to leave, I think we were supposed to leave at 5 a.m. and at 6 p.m. the next, the day before we found out that it wasn't going to happen. And I think we were all just disappointed because it was during spring break. So there were only four of us on campus training together and I think we were all just like looking forward to getting another race and just like to have that taken away. It was hard, but we do understand that like it was a hard decision and that it was in our best intention. So it was obviously disappointing, but I think overall we're glad that our team got to finish at A-10s all together. And, you know, it's hard seeing like the other spring sports and men's basketball not get to finish their season. So uh, I think we're just grateful that we got to finish the majority of ours. Right. And say so you mentioned that it was during spring break when all that happened. It extended your spring break a week to kind of set things up for remote classes. Um, how is it? How are the online remote learning? How's that all going for you? Um, it's definitely a lot different than I thought it was going to be just because I thought that it was going to be more scheduled. And, you know, like as Division One athletes, we thrive on schedule. That's basically our whole day. We have it all planned out from 5 a.m. to 6 p.m. So I think not having that structure and having that schedule with classes kind of makes things a lot harder. So I think like the hardest thing for me has just been like trying to establish a routine that like helps me in classes and like also get back into training. So it's definitely been an adjustment period. So this is week two. So I think last week was definitely I had to try a bunch of things this week. It's going a little bit better, uh, but I think just establishing a routine has been the hardest thing for me and I'm sure for a lot of other people. Right, right. I know that's been the biggest adjustment for us working at home, too, is trying to get back into things and make sure we have a schedule and kind of orient what we're doing that way. So now you kind of touched on it. This is usually kind of the year off season, but you said you're still training for your swimming and stuff, trying to stay in, stay in shape. Uh, what are you doing now that's helping you stay in shape when obviously you can't go to the pool as much as you would? Yeah, so it's different. It's a lot different, like more difficult with swimming because you can't like kind of go in your backyard and throw like a football around or like shoot hoops in your driveway um so we've been trying to focus on like a lot of dry land which is basically what swimmers call conditioning um and cross training and it's a lot of aerobic based things mixed like with body weight like a body weight program that um our strength coach Jaden Mayo has worked with us and like organized which is awesome but the big thing with swimming in the off season is just like keeping your aerobic system going and like making sure that you can go for like long intervals with a high heart rate so I mean with me I've learned that like running helps me a lot so I've been trying to like build up my mileage in terms of running and just like see, seeing if I could hold pace and then I mix that in with the program that Jay has been giving us which is a lot of just like squats lunges push-ups pull-ups anything that we can do to like stay fit and like keep our aerobic system up right right and say like you said being back in Massachusetts I know you kind of got a a good group of our swimmers that are up there, but uh, what do you, what do you miss most about being on campus and the in-person classes? Yeah. I mean, it's just hard being away from the team when you spend so much time with a group of girls and then, you know, we all left campus not knowing that we weren't going to see each other again. And especially with the seniors 
like not really getting a formal goodbye to them has been really hard. Um, we have organized team Zoom sessions, which is great because we get to like see everyone, but it's definitely not the same. Um, in terms of training, it's really hard to motivate yourself when you're by yourself, like you miss the camaraderie of everything and like having someone in the lane next to you or having someone in the weight room next to you, like pushing you. So that's definitely something that I miss. And then I just like, I miss watching, being able to like watch spring sports. I know that our team is a big supporter of lacrosse and baseball. So we miss going to those games and like, we feel for the teams that had their season cut short and especially for the seniors, but you know, we're glad that the NCAA granted them another year. So hopefully we'll see a bunch of them back on campus in the fall.